Master Peter Brusso here again. I did some, was doing some research on legal weapons and look, I ran across something really interesting that I wanted to make a video on. 10 weapons you won't believe are legal. Well, the first one is a flamethrower. Um, apparently, uh, they're legal to have under federal law. 40 states have no laws against owning this weapon, although it's restricted in some states like California. Gee, surprise there. Unlicensed possession is uh, only considered a misdemeanor. So there you go. Maybe a flamethrower might be an option here. All right, so that's the flamethrower. Let's go to the next one. Mini guns. Um, gee, gee, knew those in Vietnam. They're awesome. A mini gun is a gun that can fire two to 6,000 rounds per minute or 166 bullets per second. The only reason the these bad boys are legal is that the weapons are manu if the weapons are manufactured before the 19th of May 1986. Uh, they're not on sale very often and when they do come up for sale they're worth $400,000. So there you go and get a minigun. Probably not legal in California. All right, katanas. Those are those big, long Japanese swords right here. Um, are the blades are around two feet long, and they are legal in the U.S. And handcrafted blade can cost you about 500 bucks. Well, I think they're outdated. That's probably 15 to 2,500 for a nice blade. But maybe katanas. Now, I'm sure in California, that's not legal. Oh, now here you go. Black powder cannons are legal. You don't even need to be registered with the government. To purchase black powder, you need to buy it directly from a licensed explosive dealer. Black powder federal purchase is a limit of 50 pounds, but varies according to the state. The cannons may be purchased for around $3,000. So, hey, you can get a black powder cannon. That's a good home self-defense weapon. Let's see what's next. All right, crossbows are legal. Uh, in, although that says it varies by state, some states require a license. Easy to purchase a crossbow online. However, they're typically cost about, cost about $500. Yeah, I think crossbows are legal in a, a number of states. And again, very good, nice, quiet weapon. There are weapons called, uh, you can use a slingshot, by the way, and convert it to a crossbow, as, um, a slingbow, I think is what they call it. Not a bad weapon. Let's see what's next. Ah, Grenade launchers. While the grenade launcher is perfectly legal, the grenade, grenade launcher itself is, good luck finding any grenades to launch since grenades main, remain illegal in uh, California. The launcher will set you back by about $3,000 and you'll need to register it as a weapon with the federal government. I'm not so sure who would want that. Nunchucks, oh boy, I remember when these weren't illegal. Now they're illegal almost everywhere. Nunchucks are also called nunchakus um, in Japanese. They're federally, federally legal, but banned in certain states such as New York, Arizona, California. Gee, gosh, that's surprising. And Massachusetts, though California has made exceptions for professional martial arts schools or practitioners. Nunchucks can be purchased for around 50 bucks. Uh, you can make your own as well. Uh, basically, when the police ended up with these types of weapons, they, they ended up uh, becoming illegal. Most everything that a police officers carry ultimately become illegal for civilians. So it's always good to understand or get centered around things that they don't really carry. Now, the umbrella sword. Uh, are legal in all states except for, oh gosh, California, here we go again, Massachusetts and New York. Blades are around 15 inches in length and the umbrella costs about $30 to purchase. Now, I did run across a really cool umbrella that works like a hombo, uh, which is a 36-inch 30, stick. A lot of great techniques with that, uh, but here is, of course, the uh, cane. These weapons are really, really uh, mostly thought poorly of by most, I think, most police organizations. Let's go see what the next one is. A spear gun. Well, these underwater weapons are typically used to hunt fish, but they do remain legal in the U.S. and cost around $200 to purchase. There's all different types of uh, these particular weapons, and of course, I think this is a Bond movie using them. But uh, not a bad weapon. I've carried one many, many, many times, only in the water, mind you, but hey, it would work on land as well. 
All right, the next up on the deck is something called a chain whip. This chain whip is a weapon used uh, in some Chinese martial arts styles to disarm their opponent by wrapping the chain around their uh, or their weapon. Um, they are legal in the U.S. and can be purchased online. Now, I, I haven't personally seen one of these. In ninjutsu, we use many different types of chained weapons. And again, wrapping it around a sword or something else, pulling it away, uh, a very good tool and uh, so that's that's number 10 on the list and that concludes our little look at the 10 top weapons you won't believe are legal but then again don't forget the defender it's legal in every state as far as I know all right I'm Master Peter Bruce so I hope you enjoyed this little uh, tour of legal weapons and I'll see you on the web also remember to visit us at selfdefenseweaponsite.com